Fidel Castro! This guy was in charge of Cuba for an extremely long time. Now guys, hey, what's going on? I'm Dave Wapple. Today we're going to be talking about Fidel Castro here on FTD Facts. Now, okay, this might be an emotional video for some of you guys because the guy just recently passed away. But with his death, they're surrounding a lot of different opinions. Some people are like, yo, he was a good guy. Some people are like, no, he was a bad guy. Which makes me wonder, was he really a bad guy or was that the American media just putting a spin on the whole thing? Now guys, let's get talking about Fidel Castro, but before we do, for all those guys that are just coming here for the first time, here on FTD Facts, we like to take a lot of suggestions from our audience. Now, this wasn't a video that was suggested because for me, I was like, yo, I need to know more about this guy. But most of our videos are generally created because of you guys out there in the real world, so feel free to leave us a comment and we'll look into that video for you. Also, before we get into this video, I want to know your thoughts on democracy versus communism. I want to know all your dirty thoughts, so put them down there. Let's get going. With him. Now, Fidel Castro, he was born on his family's sugar plantation in Barron, Cuba. Now, he was born on August 13th, 1926. Now, also, he lived to the old age of 90 years old. Probably because this guy actually did frequent exercising. That's right, that's also a fact. Now, his family was pretty wealthy, so he got to attend places like, you know, the University of Havana. Now, during these years at Havana University, he started studying law. This is where he kind of became an activist with his opinions against right wing thoughts. As a as a matter of fact, he took part in protests and rebellions against the government, with his first real movement being in 1953 when he launched a failed attack against the Moncada barracks with 165 men. Now unfortunately for him, the whole thing failed and him and some of his fellow group members were all thrown in jail. Now while he was in jail, he renamed his rebel group the 26th of July Movement, teaching his fellow prisoners about Karl Marx, Lenin, and also other people like Shakespeare and let's not forget good old fashioned Freud. Now, during this time in jail, he was still married to Myrta Diaz Bellart. Now, this was his first wife, whom he married on October 11th of 1948. But in 1955, Fidel became exiled from Cuba and she divorced him. Now, between the two of them, they did have one kid, and that was Fidel Jr. He actually lost all rights to see his son, so instead he captured him when he came and visited him in Mexico. Wow, he kidnapped his own kid? This guy's bad. Now, okay, when we think of Fidel Castro, we think of him smoking these big old fashion stogies, right? Truth is, he quit smoking in 1985 because of health reasons. Mr. Burns, I think we can trust the president of Cuba. Now give it back. Give what back? <sighs> but when he did quit, he said the best thing that you can do with a box of cigars is give them to your enemy. Now, on February 16th of 1959, Castro was sworn in as the Prime Minister of Cuba. It's also pretty funny because April of that year, he was sent to the United States to meet with President Nixon, and he said, I didn't really like Nixon. But then let's be real, who liked Nixon? I mean, that guy was a jerk. Now, Fidel Castro holds some interesting records. First of all, he's one of the longest running official in human history. The first, obviously, being Queen Elizabeth II. But how long was he in reign for? Well, like I said, he got sworn in in 1959. He got sick in 2006 where he had his brother take over as command, but he didn't officially resign until 2008, thus having him being in charge of Cuba for 49 years. Wow. Now he also has the record for the longest speech ever at the United Nations. This guy was notorious for giving long speeches. As a matter of fact, you could fall asleep and wake up and have a good eight hours rest. Okay, not exactly, but you get my point. On September 29th of 1960, it was recorded that his speech was four hours and 29 minutes. Gosh. Darn it, that's long. But that isn't even the longest one that he has ever had. As a matter of fact, he had one in Cuba in 1986 that was seven hours and 10 minutes. How do you talk for seven hours? That's insane. Now, Fidel also was a little bit different from most people when it came to meeting diplomats. It's been reported that he liked to meet diplomats at like three o'clock in the morning. Now, why would he do this? Well, apparently it was a very tactful maneuver. This is because he felt that the diplomats that were there to visit him were too tired to argue back and therefore he could win arguments easily. Now, when it comes to the United States, they definitely did not like Fidel. As a matter of fact, it's been rumored that the CIA tried to kill Fidel Castro Castro 634 times. Some attempts were poison pills, an exploding cigar, 
Apparently they also tried to give him a powder that would make his beard completely evaporate so he would lose his popular image. But with all these attempts, it's been thought that the United States has spent over a billion dollars in assassination attempts. And that's just trying to kill one guy. Fidel also owned an animal that was also in the Guinness Book of World Records. This was his cow. Believe it or not, it had the record of being the highest milk yield by a cow in one day. Okay, why is that even a record? Now last but not least guys, whether or not you like Fidel Castro or not, believe it or not, he is succeeded by nine children. And out of those nine, six of them start with the letter A. Anyways, everybody, that is it for me. I'm gonna head out of this video right now, but before I go, if you guys have a recommendation for a future FTT Facts, put it down there in the comments below, and we will use it, and we will give you a shout out, and it'll be a lot of fun. Cool? All right, see you guys in the next video. Cool, bye.